The possibility of receiving your next batch of ammunition or rations via drones could become a reality within a few years. This development follows the awarding of innovation contracts aimed at creating unmanned aerial systems for tactical logistics. These contracts were granted in August, after companies successfully presented their concepts at Army Innovation Day 2022. In the medium lift category, Jabriu Aircraft emerged as the selected candidate with its coaxial quadcopter. This innovative quadcopter is designed to transport a 50 kg payload within an Army trunk. The design utilizes two large coaxial rotors for lift, complemented by four smaller rotors on the sides for maneuverability, all powered by a four-cylinder petrol engine. Michael Halloran, Jabriu's executive director, explained that the quadcopter is designed to grasp the trunk's handles, transport it up to 150 kilometers, and then deposit it. Furthermore, it offers flexibility by allowing the trade-off of payload for extended range, if we want to cover more distance, we can simply carry less payload and more fuel. The objective is for the design to be cost-effective for mass production and capable of autonomously flying between waypoints set by an operator. Proof-of-concept flights have been conducted, and a full-scale prototype is expected to take flight by the end of the following year. In the heavy lift category, Geodrones presented a hybrid-powered coaxial design for development. Weighing approximately 3 tons and with the capability to lift up to 1,000 kilograms, this design aims to facilitate the movement of heavy loads between units or from ship to shore. The concept design has recently been finalized, and a demonstration with the Army is anticipated in about 18 months. The craft is equipped with a radial engine for a range of 300 kilometers, but it can switch to electric propulsion for silent descent. Glenn Alcock CEO of Geodrones, explained, that allows us to glide quietly during descent, turning off the engines and relying on electrical power. Crystal Aid, also selected for the heavy lift category, is developing an 8-rotor, turbine-powered UAV with a planned lift capacity of over 800 kilograms. Crystal Aid director Ross McKinnon highlighted the redundancy in the craft systems, which allows it to continue flying even after losing certain components, including rotors. Some rotors provide lift, while others control direction, ensuring the craft maintains a level orientation during movement, unlike traditional helicopter designs. When transporting casualties or containers, maintaining a stable position is crucial, said Mr. McKinnon. A smaller demonstration model is expected within 15 months, and there is consideration of making the craft fully autonomous. The goal is to enhance logistics capability while maintaining the same number of personnel, allowing warfighters to request container deliveries from any mobile device in communication-challenging environments. Over the next two years, the Australian Army will collaborate with each of these companies to advance logistic UAS technologies, enabling the delivery of combat supplies to soldiers operating in restricted or high-risk environments. Crystal Aid and Jabiru are set to demonstrate their technology to defense in late 2024, while Geodrones will present its capabilities in early 2025.